Pull up the stock of Hinduja Global Services for you from the BPO and KPO space. That stock is off about 1% in trade, but we are picking up that the BPO arm is eyeing an acquisition overseas, and that could be sealed in about 12 months from now. Shushmita Mohapatra has more details on that. Shushmita, first of all, run us through the size of the acquisition. What are we looking at in the area, really, the target of the acquisition? Uh, yes, Shivani, we understand that Hinduja Global Solutions is looking at acquisitions in Central America, Latin America, and China. They're looking at spending about 130 million US dollars in these acquisitions. They hope to make one at least in the next 12 months. This is the entire kitty they have for these acquisitions. There are two particular areas where they are looking at acquiring other companies. One are companies that are backed by PE players. They see that many of these companies, uh, because they are backed by PE players, are looking at exit routes and PE players want to encash their investment so therefore these companies are the ones they are uh, they are eyeing primarily for acquisitions the other companies that they are eyeing are captive units which companies are likely to hive off they want to also acquire these captive units because they feel their valuations could be right at this stage so these are the two areas where they are looking for more acquisitions they recently acquired a UK based BPO firm but seems like more acquisitions on the cards for the company listen to Partha Desarkar the CEO of the company yeah, the entire our entire uh, dollar funds that are available at the tune of 130 million dollars is something that we were, we would more than happy to deploy towards our acquisitions, not all in one go, but we just acquired Careline. We are looking at in, uh, investing opportunities in other geographies like Central America, Latin America, U.S., maybe China, any of these places.